In this video, I will discuss about how to do retinoscopy just in three simple steps. This technique of retinoscopy is called retinoscopy with a one spherical trial lens and one cylinder trial lens. Those three simple steps are Step 1 Placing working distance power Step 2 Neutralize one meridian with a spherical trial lens that will be spherical meridian. Step 3 Neutralize other meridian with a cylinder trial lens that will be cylinder meridian. Now step 1 Placing working distance power Place working distance power 1.5 diopter before the patient eye. This is our patient. Let's add working distance power 1.5 diopter as our first step. The distance between the eye and retinoscope is called working distance. Dioptric value of working distance is called working distance power. The formula to identify working distance power is 100 divided by working distance in centimeter. Commonly used working distance is 67 centimeter or 1.5 diopter. So we took 1.5 diopter as our working distance power. You can choose your own working distance power using this formula. Let's move to step 2. Step 2 neutralized one meridian with a spherical trial lens that will be our spherical meridian. After giving working distance power, check the movement of reflex in both meridians, whether it is with movement or against movement. For this patient, after giving working distance power, both the meridian has against movement. Now neutralize the meridian with plus spherical trial lens if reflex is with movement or with minus spherical trial lens if reflex is against movement. Let's consider vertical meridian as spherical meridian. So in vertical meridian or 180 degree axis, the movement is against. So we have to use a trial lens that is having with movement. So minus spherical trial lens is having with movement. Let's add minus spherical trial lens and neutralize this meridian. With minus 0.25, the movement is still against. Let's add more. With minus 0.75, still against. Let's add more. With minus 1.25, still against. Let's add more with minus 1.75 still against now finally with minus 2 this meridian is neutralized here we have neutralized one meridian that is particle meridian with minus 2 diopter spherical trial lens so minus 2 diopter spherical will be our spherical power now let's move to our third step to identify cylinder power if there is no cylindrical power then both meridian will be neutralized with the spherical trial lens in our second step if cylindrical power is there, another meridian won't be neutralized and we have to move to step 3. Step 3 Neutralized second meridian with a cylinder trial lens that will be our cylinder meridian. Remember working distance power and spherical trial lens will remain there in the trial frame. Now neutralize the meridian with plus cylinder trial lens if reflex is with movement or with minus cylinder trial lens if reflex is against movement. We have neutralized vertical meridian or 180 degree axis. Now let's move to our next meridian that is horizontal meridian or 90 degree axis. Now in horizontal meridian or 90 degree axis the movement is against. So we will use a cylinder trial lens that is having with movement. So minus cylinder trial lens is having with movement. So let's add minus cylinder trial lens and neutralize this meridian. Now with minus 0.25 the movement is still against let's add more with minus 0.75 still it's against let's add more now finally with minus one cylinder trial lens this meridian is neutralized here we have neutralized other meridian that is horizontal meridian with minus one diopter cylinder trial lens with trial lens axis aligned with 90 degree so minus one diopter cylinder in 90 degree axis will be our cylindrical power. Finally, our final refraction will be minus 2, minus 1, 90 degree axis. In this technique, we don't need to subtract working distance power because we are using a separate lens for working distance power and while writing our final prescription, we are not counting that working distance power. That's why we are writing the power directly. Now let's try to understand how we get minus 2, minus 1 at 90 degree axis with optical cross. In spherical or vertical meridian, we got minus 2 diopter spherical. 
as we already know spherical power present in both meridian so let's write in the optical cross minus 2 will be in vertical meridian as well as in horizontal meridian in cylinder meridian or horizontal meridian we got minus 1 let's write the power in the optical cross as our cylinder meridian was horizontal meridian so minus 1 will be here now in vertical meridian we have minus 2 and in horizontal meridian we have minus 2 minus 1 total minus 3 diopter now as vertical meridian was our spherical meridian so spherical power will be minus 2 our cylinder meridian was horizontal meridian so cylinder power will be different between cylinder meridian that is minus 3 and spherical meridian that is minus 2 cylinder power is minus 3 minus minus 2 or cylinder power is minus 3 plus 2 or cylinder power is minus 1 and axis will be 90 degree as we all know that axis present 90 degree apart from the meridian so our cylinder meridian was 180 or horizontal so axis will be 90 degree so our final prescription is minus 2 minus 1 90 degree axis stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly